Hello, my name is Michael Keneally and I'm making this short video to invite you to enrol on my foundation level one Vedic astrology course and its linked weekly webinars. You can join my level one Vedic astrology course at any time but the webinars um, will be broadcasted every week from February 2016 to November 2016. Um, the details are on my Master Vedic Astrology website. That's my Level 1 course website. So you can see all the times and what's taught inside the course. And the point is uh, every student receives the download so even if the UK time of the webinar is not terribly convenient you receive the download and in every webinar your chart is discussed in connection with the topic of the webinar. Why study Vedic astrology? Well I was bowled over when I first encountered Vedic astrology. It is absolutely immense, it takes more than one lifetime to study but very quickly you can learn the surely declared foundation. And what struck me as so powerful about Vedic astrology was that it immediately and accurately declared the unusual circumstances of my birth which Western astrology couldn't even touch. And this is not to say that I'm decrying Western astrology <clears throat> because in my readings I always combine both Western and Vedic astrology and in my courses you can cross over from one to the other. But I do want to say that Vedic astrology has an immensity of spiritual offering, a vastness of spiritual awareness, a supreme power of sure declaration. The Vedic astrology birth chart is linked to our incarnational life purpose. It declares the purpose why we're here this time. And so the birth chart elaborates the circumstances in which we'll start this life and the scripts we have to work with. Our past life merits, our difficult karmas that we have to work with, it's not world denying. It provides us with a magnificently clear statement of what we have to work with in this lifetime. And Vedic predictive astrology so accurately declares how those circumstances of our birth will unfold so that we can make the needed learning. There's not only the birth chart and the predictive charts, the charts are many and one of them is the Navamsha or our soul chart which also gives our scripts for marriage this time. And our soul chart accurately tells us the messages our soul is giving us in this lifetime, the challenging demands and the blessings. So look at the course page and the webinar course page to see exactly what I cover. But what I want to talk about is the way my linked course is set up and the philosophy of teaching the webinars. Well the linked course I'm very proud of First of all, there's an applied astrology strand. 
I send you a lot of information about how to read the Vedic birth chart. And then you read the sun in my chart and the sun in your chart. And then another planet in my chart and another planet in your chart. And so we go on in that way. And because it's the charts of two live peoples, it has to be grounded, it has to be authentic. It's easily checkoutable. But running in tandem with that, we alternate into learning the techniques of Vedic astrology. So after each planet report, I send you a set of techniques and you apply those to our two charts so that you can be satisfied you know how to use them. And then thirdly, there's the webinars which keep us going through a long course, which provide sharing and dialogue and there's a most wonderful and supportive and inspired Facebook group for the students. So when it comes to the webinar strand, which starts in February and lasts until November, we will start off by contacting each of the planets of Vedic astrology as divine principles. <clears throat> And as we look at each, we will see how each of them manifests in your birth chart, my birth chart, other students' birth charts. And I believe that a new consciousness is arising at present in the world. And so I don't just, as it were, list off loads of characteristics about a planet. We use other techniques as well to understand the divine principle of that planet and understand the particular way it manifests in our life. So those can be visionary. Those can be mantra. But they can also be healing and empowerment modalities. For example, if one has a particularly difficult script with one planet, say, for example, a very debilitated sun, so one always feels overlooked and unable to hold one's own, a very debilitated Jupiter, so we can't find our own enlargement. The webinars point us to and use ways of working through and healing those difficult scripts. For example, the use of EFT, which my partner Maggie Pashley has used and taught for years. We've used these practical workshops for six years now, for example, in relationships astrology to great advantage. There's a whole list of possible healing modalities which can be connected to your learning. But it's not just that. To make the learning really live, we also regularly, in the webinars we've had so far, for example, we'll use art. And it can be so wonderful to draw the facet of the chart that we're talking about in any particular webinar. And then we share our drawings and so this can really reveal how we feel about our weak sun or our weak Jupiter and be an impetus to healing that, to, you know, as an example. And another thing we very much do is embodiment work. And so actually standing up and embodying, maybe first of all, the very fallen Jupiter that can't express its enlargement, maybe because Mother never allowed us to be who we were actually meant to be. And then embodying the soaring true enlargement that is actually why we're here to manifest. So you see, I'm very much against 
passive learning so that even good quality teaching can be disempowering. That's not why I'm here. It's not what I found useful. So there, you know, there are many techniques of not only learning the Supreme Declaration of Vedic Astrology, but also using it to become who you were meant to be. My courses are extensive and you can go on to become an astrologer yourself and a teacher of astrology. So have a look at the linked website page that's detailed in the attached notes. And I do look forward to working with you. You can enroll on my course at any time and the webinars start February 2016. Thanks very much.